الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد اي الاحبه في الله why do salafis or why does ahl sunnati wal jamaa why do they emphasize good manners the reason for this ahabati fillah because this is an important aspect of the sunnah of the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and this is an important aspect of the minhaj minhaj rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam wa minhaj al anbiya this is the way of the prophets alayhim afdal salatu wassalam and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prioritizes along with tawhid that one very important aspect be observed regarding manners and that is being obedient towards one's parents and righteous towards one's parents allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabihi al-karim وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ لَا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ بِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And your Lord has prescribed for you, or ordered you, or commanded you, to worship وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ لَا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ That to worship him in him alone and do not associate any partners with him and towards parents be obedient or be righteous and obedience is a part of that righteous so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has coupled along with his haq with his right, the right of the parents and being righteous towards one's parents. And we, we observe the authentic sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ, we'll find countless ahadith as well, emphasizing the importance of righteous manners. The Prophet ﷺ said, مَا مِن شَيْءٍ أَثْقُلُ فِي مَيْزَانَ مُؤْمِنْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَ مِنْ حُسْنُ خُلْقِ وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ يُبْغِذُ وَالْفَحِشِ الْبَذِي The Prophet ﷺ said, There isn't a thing that weighs heavier on the scale of the believer than good manners. And verily, Allah hates vile or wicked speech. You know, and going beyond the bounds, cursing people and acting foolish. And Umana, Um al Mu'mineen Aisha, radiallahu ta'ala anha, when she was asked about the Prophet sallallahu manners, that she said, Kana khulukuhu al Quran, that his manners were the Quran meaning that you could go and when you observe the characteristics and the manners and morals that are emphasized in the Quran, then you will know the manners and the characteristics of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the humility, the kindness, towards mankind, his being a mercy for mankind. You would observe this in his character. And this was because khulukuhul Qur'an, because his manners were the Qur'an. And what we often find, habitifillah, is that sometimes ourselves and our brothers and sisters in Islam don't illustrate this important aspect of the minhaj of the Prophet ﷺ and his suluk 
and his adab, and we fall short. You'll find sometimes, even in places of the sunnah, you'll find sometimes that many of the people, not just some, but many of the people have a wicked interactions with others, have wicked interactions with others, that their manners are poor, that they have arrogance and pride and prejudice, which is not from the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And this is not the beautiful manners illustrated by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, even though a person may know many aspects of aqidah and many aspects of the manhaj and da'wah, but they fall severely short in this aspect of manners. So it's important to be, to strive to be a whole mu'min, to be righteous in how you deal with others. And as we said, the Prophet ﷺ said, مَا مِنْ شَيْءٍ أَثْقُلُ فِي مِنْ زَيْنَ الْمُؤْمِنِ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ مِنْ عُسُلُ الْخُلْقِ وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ يُبْغِضُ فَعِشَ الْبَذِيءِ That there isn't a thing that weighs heavier on the scale of the believer than righteous deeds. And this is, of course, after Tawheed. This is after Tawheed. And so we ask Allah Azza wa Jal by all of His divine names and attributes and that which He loves and is pleased with to give us guidance, give us ikhlas with thabat and bless us to improve our character and be kind and gentle towards one another and in fact towards mankind to call people to Islam, to call them from darkness into light to illustrate for them, for the non-Muslim and the Muslims, from Ahl al to Ahl sunnah to show them the best character. Because even if you are making hajr of someone, if you're doing it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, by those duwabit al shara then you're illustrating the best. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa